Hey everybody, Brian here, and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down Piranha Plant, this new DLC fire, which was a part of a kind of a pre-order bonus for pre-ordering Super Smash Brothers, or later will be available for purchase. But in this guide, we're gonna be focusing in on his basic moves, the ranges, the damage, his specials, his grabs, pretty much trying to give you a really great idea of what all you can expect when playing as Piranha Plant. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So one tip is that Piranha Plant will actually automatically bite if you're crouching and an opponent actually steps on you. This is an involuntary reflex that is brought in from other games. Now for Piranha Plant's neutral, you can press and hold the button to be able to kind of do this slight jab. The range on this is very small at maybe 1.5 squares. You gotta get up at close and personal with Mario. Now if you just press and hold, you can see I can put out 10.8% damage with the three hit combo and the last hit actually being that of a launch. The other thing you could do with it is if you actually press the buttons, you can keep doing this chop combo that will put out a lot more damage. And usually if you end up like finishing it off by letting go of the button, you'll have some launching power there as well. So for your chomp combo by keep pressing it, you can actually see and put out 19.6% damage and you can even get 21% damage if you actually end up missing one of the attacks and then connecting with the follow-up as well. So you can see that there's a lot of power just in your neutral alone. Your up tilt is this nice little head bash. However, the range on this is very, very small at one square. Pretty much you need to be up close and personal. And that's one square front and back. You're able to obviously hit them in the air. You can see also that you've got a slight juggle. You kind of bounce them uh, and from there. Now, if they have enough damage, you can actually then juggle them yourselves. But you won't be able to uh, juggle them like this until they have enough damage and enough launching power. But you can see the up tilt has plenty of launching power on its own. Now, your down tilt is this leaf sweep or leg sweep, essentially, if you will. Now, this actually has at least two squares of range. So for your normal attacks, it has the most. You're going to see it at 8.4% damage. And you can see it's got a light leg sweep and launch, and it launches them up in the air and slightly horizontal. So you can usually end up following this up with other combos like your dash and more. So for Piranha Plant's side tilt, it's push and pull. This is a two hit combo if you press the button twice. The first hit is going to be at 6.6% and the second hit is going to be at 13.8%. This is gonna have that launching power on the second hit. Of course, you can just press it once, follow this up with a grab, do some other kind of combos, follow this up with a dash attack to really kind of smash them out of the arena. But I'll leave that up to you with what you decide to do. Now for your air neutral, you have these blade spins. This is really good for jumping into a group of enemies in the air. This is gonna put out anywhere from 10.8 to 13.2%. You can see it's got a lot of multi-hit, and on the last hit itself, it actually has some, some launching power to it. Your up air actually has also a very short amount of range. You pretty much need to be right up on top of them in order to connect. You can see it put out 9.6% damage each time, but like I said, the range is incredibly short and you need to be right up on top of them or you're gonna miss. Your, one of your faster moves is your down air, 13.2% damage for each time you hit. The start of it actually has a meteor style effect, so this is a good uh, finisher move when you're over something. You can see that it also moves you down really quickly. So if I double jump here and press down, it's this really quick attack. For your forward air, you're going to put down anywhere from 10.8 to 13.2% depending on where you connect. It's going to give you about three squares worth of distance range on the attack itself as you can see here. Your back air is fire breath. This is gonna put out anywhere from 14.4 to 17.4% damage. This is going to be a really good kill shot because it's got some real explosive power to it. So remember that. Okay, so now let's talk about his smash moves. You have your up smash, your side smash, and your down smash. All of these have a little bit of range and a lot of power to them. Now, if you're not aware of how to use a smash move, you can use your right stick to press and hold in any direction to kind of build up that charge and increase the attack's damage. Or you can press and hold the left stick and the attack button in the direction to do the same thing. So depending on what control scheme you're using, you might not have access to a right stick. So there you go. So for his up smash, he's got one, less than one square range, guys. You gotta get real up close and personal with him right here. You can see it at 25.2% damage, but even at one square, you're not going to connect. So you pretty much need to be right on top of him 
to be able to, to make sure you connect. Otherwise, you need to check his animation so that way he kind of steps right into it. It's got a lot of power, it's got a lot of the launching power. You can follow this up with more up smashes or your up tilt as well. Side smash has got the most range at 2.5 squares to be able to hit and connect with your target. This is gonna put out 31.9% damage at full range. However, if you're less than 2.5 squares of range, you're only gonna put out 25.2% damage. So there is a damage fall off, but it happens as you get closer to your target. Your down smash is gonna have one point squares worth of range and it's gonna put out 20.1% damage. Now this has a knockback horizontally and it also hits forward and back. So if you're surrounded on both sides, this will be a good option to get people off your tail or your pipe. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about Piranha Plant's special moves. His neutral special is Patui. You can press and hold and he's gonna to continue to blow the spike ball up and down. Now, if you tilt the control stick left or right, he's going to attack. The closer the attack is to your person, the further it will fly, up to 11 squares. Now, however, if it hits targets, if it hits opponents, if it hits the stage, every time it does, it's going to end up losing more and more damage. The maximum amount of damage you'll see with this is 21.6%, but as it hits targets, that starts to fall off. So one example would be one hit, would fall off to 18.3%. So you're losing uh, quite a bit every time it connects, but it does have some range. At the max height, you're gonna see it's gonna put out five and a half distance on that. So you control how that goes. And again, you can just press and hold forever and he's gonna continue to juggle this for you. And you can put out a lot of range and it's a very powerful attack just for your neutral special. Now you're only allowed to have one spike ball at a time. So if you try to do this again, it will actually leave you vulnerable as you see with what happened to me just there. Now Piranha Plant's side special is Poison Breath. Now I just charged it up. Once it charges up, you can cancel charging by blocking or dodging or jumping. But with a fully charged, you can actually just hold on to this and you can kind of see the purple clouds on me right now. Now here's where it gets epic. Do that move again, and it's gonna put out an amazing ton of damage. You can see it ranging anywhere from 27.7% all the way up to 57% damage. It's gonna be that big poison cloud. Now, if there are more targets on the field, the cloud is not going to last that long. So the more opponents there are, that's actually going to impact how the cloud operates. You can see here, it can affect a lot of people. There is no launching power, there is no knockback. This is just a poison cloud that's going to do an insane amount of damage for one of your special abilities. This is your side special. You can stop charging and just release it again, and you can still see without a charge, it's gonna put out an insane amount of damage. It's a really quick move for the no charge, and then just being able to carry this around and release it at any point in time. Obviously, they can escape, they can jump out of it, but if you got them in a hold or if you have a teammate and they've got them like holding, this is gonna be a really good way to really rack up that damage incredibly fast. You can see here it also has uh, about 3.5 squares of range on it fully charged. So you're gonna be able to kind of play around with that. So again, side special, go ahead and just charge it up and release it on your opponents to rack up that damage. So Piranha Plant's down special is Long Stem Strike. You can see here just by doing that, it's going to go plus six in height. I bet it would actually even connect with the target at plus seven. Now, while you're charging, you can actually angle the attack itself and be able to attack forward and back, just depending on if you tilt the controller left and right. The range on the side, when you tilt it side, is actually seven squares, and you can see 31.2% damage at max extension. The closer you get, though, you're gonna end up seeing less damage. So 21% when you're up close and personal, 31% when you're far away. So use this. Again, it is a ranged attack, and it's really quite powerful. Now your up special is Piranha Chopper. This is going to get you plus 12 in height. You can also use this and tilt to the side to be able to get you plus 16 in range for the horizontal. You can also see that for this, I've been able to hit Mario multiple times, anywhere from 13.3 to 17.2% damage with multiple hits. And the last hit has that nice little launching power. So use that to your advantage, whether you're trying to get somebody off the level or if you're just trying to get back to the level itself. So speaking of recovery, with a nice double jump and then tilting it to the side, you can easily get 25 squares worth of recovery here. What's also important to note is that you can use your just normal special to kind of slow your descent when falling, as well as your down 
as well to kind of slow your descent when falling. So use that to maybe faint, catch somebody off guard if they're waiting for your return <laughs> trajectory to be able to kind of slow that off. Or especially if you're getting knocked off and time is about to fall, uh, use one of those to help kind of slow your descent to hopefully maybe, you know, win the round. All right, so now let's cover his grabs. His down's gonna put out 9.6% damage with a nice little two hit combo there. His forward's gonna put out 13.2% damage. His up is the most powerful at 14.4% damage. And his back is going to put out another 13.2% damage. Obviously with all attacks, you can actually do some damage before you go ahead and toss them. So I'll leave that up to you. All right, and finally, let's talk about his special. This is gonna bring out PD Piranha. Now you can still move and control. So as you move, PD is going to follow you around and he can cage up to two targets in those cages. Anybody in the area with a fire breath will take damage, but those in the cages are gonna take the most at 58.8% damage. Now with your final smash, it is important to check out range. Even if you're jumping and attacking, you're not gonna have a lot of time to be able to get back to your opponents. So use this when you're up close and personal to be able to do the maximum amount of damage to each target. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for my PD Piranha 101 guide. Let me know if you guys have any questions and what you're thinking, what you're feeling about this new addition to Super Smash Brothers. My name is Brian and this is Work Your Game. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.